Welcome to Art and Nature Diaries. My name is Lisa and I'm in a beautiful place where I come to be with nature. In this month's video, I'm going to work on a larger piece of paper. It's going to be expansive because I've been working on smaller bits. So it's got to be good to free me up and to get into some movement and uh, carry over what I picked up from last month's video while I was working down by a stream. And, and that was called the vitality of spring and running water. So I'm going to carry that and bring that into this larger piece of work. I also went out and managed to film some of the beautiful places that I go to to share with you uh, where I get grounded and nurtured and beautiful parts of um, the land around here. And the other good news is that I have actually sold a painting. It's very exciting and, and that painting um, was birthed in last month's video. So if you want to see how it began, uh, it's, you can see it there. And here it is. It's um, a creative process that I've ex never experienced before. And uh, to see it sort of being recorded, obviously, because I was filming myself. And um, yeah, it, it's interesting because there are like several layers to the creative process, which is very exciting and new to me. Um, up to now, I've had my work sitting in portfolios or, you know, under the bed, um, and uh, it's not getting exposed. So that's why I, I really do appreciate when you share and like my work. And uh, what can I say? It's um, it's a journey. So now, actually, I've got to get this room uh, arranged so that I can work bigger. It feels so good to actually lay my hands on something that I know that I do have at the back of my shed. <laughs> so I'm now sorted with what I'm going to hang the paper on. So I've got these stretches and I'm going to hang them side of the wall of the conservatory.
cobalt blue. And then uh, in this tin, look at that. Ah, look at that color. Oh my goodness. I don't think cobalt's inside that, but <laughs> that's amazing. So I've got these powders from somewhere. I can't even remember where I got them from. And um, it feels a little uh, magical, to be honest going into these colors. Wow. And on the top of these tins is the word Cadbury's on some of them. So <laughs> the pigment's just gone into the uh, Cadbury's. I don't know if you can read that. And look at this. Wow. There's no music on this headphone. <laughs> so I don't know where I've got them all. Uh, yeah, so just by lifting it up enough, I can see how it's going to, to be underneath. So this is the tree that I sat next to when I was down by the stream. Not the one that I was actually painting. I realised that um, the water was sort of flowing over its roots and past it. And in between the branches, I could see and feel and hear the water of the stream flowing by. So. I'm sort of playing with this um, feeling of wood or earth and water and yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> um, so that's what my um, exploration is and I'm actually wondering, I'm actually thinking, do I start um, with a new colour? Do I introduce another colour at this point? Or do I carry on with the blue or do I carry on with the sienna, you know, the rusty brown, black, white. Um, so at this point, I think I'm going to go and put the kettle on and uh, have a break from it, which always helps. And then you kind of come back a bit more refreshed. <laughs> I have introduced another colour now and I've introduced uh, an ochre and that is because I think when it mixes with um, the graphite and the charcoal that I have underneath it will actually turn more into a raw umber or you know broken yellow anyway but um, it will stay earthy. another day and uh, I'm asking myself the question now uh, when to stop that's always a good question because one can always overwork uh, a picture and to help me make that decision I took a photograph of the painting and saw the image condensed and then whatever area felt like it, it, it showed up basically the areas that just need um, a little bit more work on at this stage and it's a loose free sketch painting I don't want to keep working on it um, it's it's uh, been such good fun doing it this and working on a larger scale uh, what else um, so what I saw was actually just something here more defined and the feeling of the water flowing into the bottom right hand corner of the painting so this isn't um, much to do and after that, uh, it will be complete for now <laughs> and I'll leave it for some days and, and uh, live with it.
But in the meantime, I'd like to show you some of those places that I like to visit in nature where I go to be nurtured and um, connect with. I love it when the leaves are only just coming out and you can still see beyond them. It is very beautiful. And that point just over there is called Far Harkening Rock. And the view from over there is just as beautiful. I love the way the clouds are rolling beyond the horizon line and at the same time their shadows are rolling across the land here. The river reflects them and the horizon line gives me a sense of space and beyond that um, a future. One can travel through into this landscape. Thank you for taking this journey with me as well and I'd love to read your comments down below.